The Monday Advantage number 20. The Monday Advantage number 20. Creative confidence in an uncertain world. Creative confidence in an uncertain world. I'm sure you know that the world has changed. That there is a world event that's happening right between our eyes, like the tectonic plates that are moving, like the, the ending of the Berlin Wall or the crash of communism or the apartheid system. Major, major changes are underway in our global community. How does that environment, that ethos, impact and inform your actions? Well, the world that was 15 years ago that I used to coach in was a world where businesses could focus on scalable efficiency. Their number one priority was to lower the variance and increase optimization. In other words, take all the variations out of the systems and help the systems naturally produce on time, as expected, on quality, on point. In other words, optimize the system so that it runs by itself. But as you know today, context is in motion. We can't reflect on action. We must reflect in action. We can't be interested by. We are interested in. We are in the era of participation. A brewery no longer makes the beer and serves it. The customer participates in the beer that's made and then drinks it. We're in the age of wanting to know what we're, what we're buying. We're, we're in the age of wanting to know the substance of things, what's inside things. We want to participate in the process of what we do for ourselves. We are infected by well-being as a context on the planet. We want to see well-being everywhere. But the nature of our environment has totally changed. Bob Johansson wrote a book called Leaders Make the Future. And he talks about 10 leadership qualities to establish creative confidence in this uncertain world. And he uses a very neat term that he coined called VUCA. V-U-C-A. Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And Bob is suggesting that volatility leads to vision. It provokes vision. That uncertainty provokes a sense of understanding. That complexity provokes, provokes clarity, but not too much certainty. And that ambiguity provokes agility. And he calls it symbolically, it's like staccato steps or staccato running over sharp rocks. That the question isn't what's new in the forecast. It's about what's ready to take off. And what are the hot zones around us that we're presencing, where we sense an emerging future wanting to begin? Now what the Creator has to do is He has to look at what He has around Him presently. And the future coming into the now calls Him to bring whatever's wanting to emerge into being. So I dare you this week, this is the Monday Advantage number 20, to look around you. What are the cracks from the future that are summoning you to come into being? What is your call to action? Are you in the, are you in the VUCA space? Are you really listening your way to create? There are some very new behaviors that are involved in really making confidence in the VUCA environment. So this was the Monday Advantage number 20. I dare you this week to listen better and to try to sense what's wanting to presence where you find the hot zones where your futures are beginning right before your eyes.